Hello everyone, my name is DJ and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where every day is a train show and today we're going to be taking a look at some new items that just came into our shop that hopefully will find their way rolling on your layout. We're going to start out with some scale trains items today. If we take a look over here, we're going to see the new auto racks that we had coming in from scale trains. And as you can see, I got a bunch of different colors. I got a bunch of different row names. And these are just fantastic cars, especially if you want to uh, model a auto train to go on your layout. I don't think there's anyone that does these cars better than scale trains. I know some other uh, manufacturers make auto carriers here, but I think these are probably the best ones out there. In terms of detailing these are the rivet counter series so of course legit they are modeled after the real thing so as you can see here i have a bunch of detailing here i got the edge metal involved with these cars i know a lot of manufacturers when they make these cars those are usually plastic so it's neat to have that edge metal in there and these cars do have a lot of weight in here which is always a good thing as you can see over here too i have an incredible amount of detailing here the various different couplers and knob designs hoses everything yeah you would want from a scale train car you got here now i know they have done these cars in the past this is the second run so this run includes uh some of the ones that they did in the previous run with different row numbers and i have some different row names such as burlington northern canadian national union pacific to name a couple now these are a little bit pricey cars because they're really highly detailed they retail for 94.99 however we're selling them here at yankee dabbler for 74.99 it's a really good deal for a car that is really detailed really looks nice and you get a couple of these on your layout pulling down your uh train uh on your uh, railroad i think you're gonna be pretty happy with the way they look and i'm sure you're gonna be envious of all of your friends so come to yankee dabbler check these guys out because they're not gonna last long we're gonna take a look at that atherin piece that just came in if you take a look at here i got the clem coop grain or the co-op grain depending on who you ask uh, grain uh, cover hoppers that we have here and I have a couple of different variations here in terms of numbers so I got the 17 19 and 22 and these are really cool uh, looking cars here you know something a little bit different you don't really see a lot of pink cars on the railroad and as you all know real trains wear pink anyway if you take a look here I got the etching on the top here um, it's just a really cool looking car and it's not one that you see that often you know a lot of railroads nowadays I always complain because trains look low a little boring with you know the blacks and browns and whatever so to have a pink car in your train i think that's kind of cool so these cars here retail if i get my numbers here these cars retail for 46.98 we're selling them for 37.59 so that's a really cool looking car so add something a little bit different to your roster and i think you'll like them so come to yankee dabbler and check them out we're rolling our way back to scale trains here, and we're going to be taking a look at these TTX flat cars. Check out these puppies. As you can see here, I have two different variations. I have the As Delivered variation, as well as the Speed logo. And what's really neat about these flat cars here is they got these laser engraved wood paneling that you put here for the platform so some assembly is required but as you can take a look i have two different variations i have those are different panelings and then these are uh straight across here so i got two different uh, variations there which are really cool and i always think that the more detail that you can add to these cars the better as you see underneath and you take a look at the undercarriage there i just have a tremendous amount of detailing i don't know anyone that really puts as much effort into detailing the underneath of a trains and scale trains does so they do phenomenal jobs with these looking cars here and again you know flat cars are just a really neat looking car you can put a whole bunch of different loads here so you can be as prototypical as you want or you could be crazy and put like uh you know circus peanuts or gummy bears it's really up to you so these flat cars here sell for uh 50 i'm sorry they retail for 54.99 but we're selling them here for 43.99 so for a scale train car that's a very economical price you get a whole bunch of them you can have a nice long flat car train pulling those circus peanuts or whatever and uh i think you're really gonna join us so check them out at yankeedabbler.com and see if you can get these wrong on your layout today so we got some requests to do some more end scale on the show gary Vinny. Sorry, I had something in my throat. So I figured we'd take a look at a whole bunch of N-Scale Microtrain car sets here. And as they said in Field of Dreams... Is, is this heaven? No, it's N-Scale land. 
check this out here. As you can see here, I have a couple of different multi-packs for uh, N-Scale. Let's start with this guy right here. As you can see here, I have the Union Pacific four-car runner pack there. And as you can see, I have four different cars here that have different road names on, I'm sorry, different road numbers on them. And those are really cool looking cars here. These cars sell, and I can tell you what the retail price is. I'm going to tell you what our price is. These cars sell for $135.96. And again, it might seem like a lot, but these are really detailed cars. So I think you're going to really like those if you take a look here over here i have something a little bit unique here this is a union pacific concrete tie loader pack as you know a lot of the ties these days are getting replaced with concrete and what better way to represent that on your train than this up concrete set this set here sells for a 95 96 and once again i get a bunch of different variations here some assembly is required yet again but these are really cool looking cars and i think you're going to really like those for our Canadian Pacific fans, I got the Weather Tide Loader 3 pack here. And this is really cool because, as you see, I have the a various different type of machinery that goes with these cars here. And as you can see, these are very detailed in the weather department there. So I got some really cool designs looking there. These cars sell for $79.96. I think that's a really neat looking set. For those of you who like pristine looking cars, I got the CSX four car runner pack here and these sell for $87.96 and these are really cool looking cars again I got the cover loads here that would go with these uh, gondolas here and I really think you're going to enjoy those. For my personal favorite, I think this is the neatest one on the bunch here, you're going to see the Department of Defense Humvee flat car two pack here as you can see i have two flat cars here and i have a various different hummers or humvees rather that go on these uh flat cars here and i just really think that's a really neat looking design if you take a look at here actually, so the humvees here actually sell they retail for 34.95 we're selling them for 27.96 those are really cool looking tr trucks there as you can see there are cars or whatever you want to call them hum humvees and the Department of Defense 2-pack there sells for $95.96. So that is a really cool looking car there. I really enjoy that one. Now we get back into the weather department here with the Norfolk Southern Weather 3-pack. And as you can see, I have three cold condolas there. I'm sorry, hopper cars rather. And those cars retail for $71.96 or rather we're selling them for that. And now we're going to get into even more weather. And these are as weathered as weather get. I got the BNSF Buffer Car Weather 2-pack. And those cars sell for $49.99. So those are really weathered as well as these Atlantic Coastline Weather 2 back as well. As you can see there, I actually had two different color cars, so I like the variation, the variety that I have in these sets. Those are also $49.99. Now, if you take a look at some graffiti cars here, I got the ADMX Graffiti 3-pack. As you can see, I have some really cool-looking, interesting designs. These graffiti cars are actually selling really well. And I think it's because a lot of people like the things that are prototypical that you see on the railroad nowadays. And plus, to do something like this by yourself, it, it takes a tremendous amount of detail, especially for N-Scale because it's so small. So uh, these cars here sell for $89.95. So if you want something that looks like the real thing, Come check those out. And then finally, we got the BNSF Graffiti 3-pack for these uh, hopper cars. As you can see there, we got various different designs with the graffiti. And then, of course, if I were to flip these around, I would also have a different look there as well. I also have different variations of weathering, too. And those cars sell for $99. 99 so i got a lot of really good looking cars here what you would do is this pick whatever one that we just talked about we showed all the boxes there so this type in the name of the uh set that you're interested in it will show up on our website and you can get them now a lot of these sets that i just showed you i only have one pack up so if it's something that you're really interested in don't take too long uh, long to think about it because it might roll out the door so come into yankee dab or go on our website check this out because i think you're gonna like them I do have another saw pack that I wanted to talk to you about. And this one actually opens up a little bit different than the others. But this is the Farm Rail Hopper 5 pack. And as you can see there, I got a bunch of different color designs there. And you know me, I like trains that have a lot of color and pizzazz in them. And as you can see here, I got uh, just really cool looking hopper cars. I think these are really neat. Kind of a somewhat obscure design there i'm sure you know probably those who live in the farm rail area know a lot about them here in the east coast you don't get a lot of farm rail but these are really cool looking cars here and these cars here 
so far, if I get the right amount here, here we go. These uh, retail for, I'll get the actual retail price, $149.95. We're selling them here for $119.96. So once again, we only have one or two packs of these. So if you're interested in these, come to Yankee Dabbler, check them out, get them on your railroad. I think you're really going to like them. So a lot of you deal with scenery and you might be wondering how do I put that ballast down on my track? Well, I got these here. These are ballast spreaders and I have them both in HO and N scale. And what I do here is I put the ballast in there and then I roll it across the rails there and it evenly distributes the ballast on your rail. So if you're looking for something to make that job a little bit easier for you, I have these. These retail for $19.99. So come into Yankee Dabble and check these guys out so you can scenerize your railroad and maybe some of the track that you're trying to put that ballast down would look great with these broadway limited gp 20s and take a look at these bad boys here these are awesome look at these locomotives here i have a bunch of different row names here i got the santa fe there i got the conrad i want to talk about this conrail for a second because a lot of times uh manufacturers make a conrail engine but i think this conrail blue is just perfect with the you know, early style of Conrail locomotives. They kind of got a little bit lighter as they went on there, but you don't really see the correct Conrail blue for the early style. I think Broadway hit it uh, out of the park with that design. I had the Union Pacific there, and I especially like that green hood that we have there. If you take a look up here, you see I had the green hood there. Don't see that a lot. I had the prototype, the demonstration model that EMD made while trying to sell these uh, locomotives to railroads there. So that's a really cool look design. I got the New York Central and kind of the towards the end of the run of New York Central. So the logos weren't that great. Uh, and then finally, I got the Southern Pacific and something about that gray and red. This looks fantastic. Now you expect highly detailed models from Broadway Limited and all the engines that we've seen in our shows from Broadway have either been steam engines or I think we even looked at some of those F units way back when but you don't really see too many freight diesels or at least we haven't taken a look at a lot of these and if you take a look at the detailing on these engines it's just incredible compared to some of the other manufacturers that are out there as you can see this particular one has a little beacon up there as you know the various different you know air conditioning units and vents and whatnot i mean there's just a lot of uh stuff going on with these diesel locomotives so broadway is really well known for making some spectacular looking steam engines but i think they're making some spectacular looking diesel locomotives as well I'm going to run the Santa Fe because, well, we really haven't done too many Santa Fe's yet, so I'm interested to see what this sounds like. As you see, this engine has a bunch of different lighting features. As you can see here, I have the various marker lights that are illuminated right there on the nose. I have the number boards that are lit up here. And if you take a look in here, you actually see the cap light. And what's really neat about this locomotive is when it goes, the cap light turns itself off and the headlights get brighter as the engine goes around the track. Then what happens is when the engine is at a standstill, the cab lights turn uh, themselves back on and all the lights dim, just like the prototypical engine. So I think that's a really neat looking design. So let's hear what this engine sounds like. All right, so here is the horn. Here is the bell. And then I have a bunch of different announcement features too. Let's check out some of them. So you have a bunch of different sequences that you can make for your engine. Let's hear what we sound like in motion.
As you see, as I stop the engine right there, the cab lights turn themselves back on and the headlights dim themselves. So I think that's a really cool look. Let's see what this engine looks like in action for all the cars that we looked at today. All aboard! Now arriving on track number one, train number 3013, Engineer Hall's Wall. It's called that because it's empty. Anyway, so these diesel locomotives are really cool looking designs, especially if you want to model those really early GP20 uh, designs. Uh, the GP20 was uh, designed in 1959, and believe it or not, some of them are still found in operation today. So these locomotives sell for, they retail for $329.99. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $263.99. as a really good deal for a really nice looking diesel locomotive. So come in the uh, Yankee Dabbler, check these guys out because I think you're going to really like them. Well, I want to thank you very much for tuning in to What's New at Yankee Dabbler. That's all I have to show for you today, but I hope you really enjoyed taking a look at all the diesel locomotives that we had or the various rolling stock items. Everything that we saw today is available on our website, yankeedabbler.com, so type in what you're looking for and get those items on your layout, and I think you're going to be pretty happy. Sparky. Anywho, thank you very much for tuning in. And we're going to try something very, uh, a little bit different here for Engineer Hall's channel. For the fall, we're going to have the Fall Land Extravaganza. See, it's as exciting as I just made it seem. What I would like you guys to do is either take a photo or a video. If you can email to our channel at engineerhallchannel at gmail.com. What we're going to do is we're going to put some of these videos uh, or photographs of your layout on uh, one of our shows of What's New at Yankee Dabbler, and uh, we'll get to see what your layouts look like. Maybe you have an HO layout, a no scale layout, maybe yours is underwater outside, or you drive the real thing. Who knows? We're going to conclude this week's video with our rail fan video, and we are going to be going back to the Reading and Northern Railroad, taking a look at the newly acquired F units, the number 270, going through the Reading and Northern system. This was taken last year during their July 4th uh, celebration. So enjoy the video, and we'll see you again for what's new at Yankee Dabbler. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.